what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A 49-year-old New York Police Department sergeant has been charged with shoplifting. <laughs> The dude was caught trying to switch price tags. The old switched the high price tag for the low price tag trick. He thought he was going to get away with it, but a store employee busted him. Now, when the police showed up, oh, and by the way, they didn't know that this guy was a cop. His name is Thomas Balatoni. Didn't know he was a cop. They call the cops on the cop. The cops get there, and of course, they don't arrest him. But the story gains legs. New York Post get a hold to it. And come to find out that this dude uh, ends up getting desk duty. This is the same type of thing that's reserved for cops who are involved in civilian shootings where they uh, shoot unarmed citizens. You pretty much get the same type of treatment. Now, the big question is, why is the police stealing? Police are entrusted servants. They are paid by the taxpayers to protect us from the thieves, right? <laughs> you call the police when somebody's stealing. <laughs> so, why is he stealing? Some people say, well, he's stealing because the police don't get paid enough money, so he got to steal. <laughs> well, according to documents obtained by the New York Post, this dude wasn't too hard up for cash because, you know, you're thinking, man, it's Christmas time. People trying to get that money, man. Everybody trying to get that money. Everybody on their hustle trying to get that money for Christmas. So what was this guy trying to steal? A merino wool sweater. Was he that hard up for cash? Did the cops make that little money that they have to risk stealing, shoplifting, Risk their job, their reputation for shoplifting. Well, according to the New York Post, this guy was not strapped for cash. He earns $108,593 per year to be exact. With overtime, the sergeant can make as much as $173,525 Per year. I didn't know they had it like that. I mean, seriously, man. I didn't know police make that kind of money. $70,000 in overtime pay? Man, it's people that got whole jobs don't make that with their regular pay. Wow. The real crime here is that he gets paid $173,000 a year to drive somebody around. That's insane. I mean, am I tripping or are they tripping? This dude gets paid up to $173,000 annually to drive the assistant police chief around. Imagine what the dude who drives the police chief around gets. <laughs> and he risks it all for a few bucks. Greed. Greed to take you under. You know, this automatic respect for the police got to stop. I mean, it, it comes at a great cost. The public entrusts the police to protect it from the bad guys, right? The police... If they commit a crime, if you are a member of law enforcement and you commit a crime, your punishment should be 1,000 times more severe than any 
regular civilian's punishment should be for the same crime because you've been granted the public's, the public's blind trust. Cops get on those stands, man, and people automatically believe them just because they're a cop. I would never do that, but you have a lot of people that do. So with that trust comes great responsibilities and great consequences and repercussions if you violate that trust. And I say the book should be thrown at you. It is absolutely amazing, man, how you really can't tell the criminals from the cops. In fact, in many cases, the criminals are the cops. I don't know how we're going to get through this, America. We're in bad shape, man. Bad shape around here. You have people just saying, but, 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 but he's honest. I mean, but, but he's a cop. But, but, but he's, he's honest. I mean, I mean, don't you see the, the badge, the uniform? He's protecting us. You know, even if he makes a mistake, he's still human, but he's a cop. So because he has a uniform on, we, we, we should give him the benefit of the doubt. We, we, we should give him another shot. We should give him another chance. Anybody else would have been dragged off to, to jail, possibly even shot up for stealing. Dude should have been sent to jail for shopping at Banana Republic. Or should I say shoplifting at Banana Republic? Because I've never seen anything in that that I would want. Here's my takeaway from this. It's sad that a person can go to jail, a cop can go to jail a lot faster for shoplifting than he could for shooting an unarmed civilian. That's cold-blooded. But that's the world, or should I say the country we live in. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?